I want to talk today a little bit about the cuckoo egg dilemma, which I think is the problem that we're currently facing with technology. The, the cuckoo is a bird that will plant an egg in another bird's nest, and then the other bird will actually raise that uh, egg for them. And so you can see this is a picture from Wikipedia where this giant bird right, is being fed by this smaller bird here because it was tricked into thinking that it was its offspring. And so we, really, we can see this currently with a lot of stuff that's happening in technology. So if you're a creator, for example, let's say you're a famous artist like Taylor Swift, it's obvious to look at that example as someone who spends their time creating things that people purchase, right? So you can see this is essentially like the perfect analogy for someone who is very valuable in terms of everything they produce uh, is is important. And if they spend more time producing, they'll make more revenue. Uh, on, the, on the flip side, we can say uh, potentially the opposite scenario would be a consumer. And so what is a consumer? Well, this consumer is somebody who is, let's say, watching TV all day, uh, scrolling through a smartphone, you know, consuming things from the American economy. The problem is that you're spending all your time uh, essentially raising that cuckoo's egg. And so the uh, capitalistic system of America is is giving you things and you're just consuming them, spending money and spending time on this. Now, obviously, entertainment is fun and it's great to have resources for entertainment, going to movies, watching TV, etc. But I think we've been stuck into really being tricked into raising this this other company's egg versus our own egg. And so if you look at the middle here, this would be maybe like a, a middle ground here is if you're a worker, you're working for a company, you get a fixed amount of salary. You know, really, if as long as you don't get fired, you could spend a lot of your day scrolling on a smartphone. On the flip side, if you work really hard, you're still going to get paid the same amount. So you can see in that case, it doesn't really matter if you're a creator as much or a consumer as much, really depending on the organizational structure at your company. But what I would really kind of throw out as a hypothesis is that we might start to think about, you know, getting rid of things that are vampires, right? So getting rid of things that are are taking our time away from uh, our creation. So if you are a talented, you know, course creator, an author, a, an artist, um, you know, maybe an entrepreneur, if, if you think about these devices that have kind of become like vampires on our time, why are we spending this time on that? Instead, maybe the alternative is to get dumber devices and even to have single purpose devices. And so that's really what I wanted to just briefly talk about is that if you look at some of the alternatives for the smart technology that we have, I, I think one alternative would be a dumb phone, right? So you take, let's say, an iPhone, Android phone, and instead you replace it, you get it to a single purpose device where it could do phone calls, it could do text. And now potentially that two to four to six hours a day, you are scrolling with things, it can be replaced. Now, the trick is, what should you replace it with? Well, if you could spend more time creating, right? If let's say you're an author, spend more time writing books, spend more time re doing research. On the flip side, you could also think about preparing to create. And so one thing you could think about is how could you substitute, let's say right before you go to bed, you used to scroll on your phone. Could you substitute that with a book? Maybe you can get a single purpose reading device. And that allows you to kind of have some of a, the sim same similarity, but instead you're reading something that later you can use to, to create things or be inspired by things or, or learn things. And, and similarly, if you think about the different components of your day, are there different parts that are consumer driven parts like, you know, uh, you know, being engaged with uh, particular news sites, for example, are those actually less important versus you, you know, doing research on some particular topic? So I think as we look through some of the stuff that's happening in, you know, the, the smartphone revolution, there's going to be a retraction where we think about, hey, how do I protect the things that I care about, which is my own time, my own resources, uh, the the cost associated with constantly upgrading with these different devices, and 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 then even further, kind of a corollary to this is to think about this cuckoo egg, right? Is that what are the things that are cuckoo eggs in my life? And even if you're a creator, you have to be careful because now that many platforms are scraping your material. Let's say you're an artist. If you're putting your material somewhere, uh, you could be essentially raising the egg of a foreign body. Or if you're uh, doing source code, for example, with GitHub, we know that now open source uh, is actually being stripped even of licenses and being used to train models. So can you think about other ways to 
to really shift your focus so that you're not raising the the cuckoo's egg so you can think of this both in attention right and resources which is the smartphone but also the platforms that you engage with how can we re reshape things i don't have all the answers but i thought i would throw some raw ideas out here about this idea of a cuckoo's egg dilemma for the creator and the consumer and uh, i'll share some more information as i get it all right talk to you later